It's a privilege for me to welcome uh, a very special guest uh, from Germany, a well-known trainer coach, a great dancer himself in the past, and really he should not need any introduction, but I will ask my guest if he would like to introduce very shortly, very brief himself. Holger, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much for the introduction. My name is Holger Nitsche from Germany. I have been a professional dancer in my past and now have been moved to the stage of being a teacher and coach and international judge and um, trying to do my job as best as I can. Well, you can prove it. <laughs> and I will ask Marcel, it's our technical engineer for today, to show us uh, some takes from or Rumba or Pasodoba because that's the only material we have okay. uh, this morning. And for the viewers at home, uh, imagine you have to judge a long, a very long day. 63 couples entered the European Championship, and at this very early uh, time of the Sunday, the day after, Holger is warm and willing and really prepared to give his comments to you. Well, <laughs> that's the spirit. Marcel, surprise us please with one of the couples making this grand final. The bronze medal winners of the European Championship representing Germany, Timor and Nina. And the components of Holger in the solo dances has been the technical quality and the partnering skills. And Holger, if you want to comment on this performance, it would be most welcome. Well, this couple, for, in my opinion, had a wonderful and great night. I like the appearance of this couple. I like the idea of dancing in this couple because this is one of a couple which represents most the female and male look, which is so typical for Latin American dancing. Technically, they are on a very high level. You can see they're using a lot of good understanding from foot articulation into leg actions, into body movements and for me also using the so important and characteristic hip actions which we need in Latin American dancing. They're very balanced on their feet, very controlled, using quite difficult material in their dancing because it's all based on a couple uh, Design. Still a lot of fundamentals. A lot of fundamentals, a lot of balance, which is used in an excellent way. Can you remember the score you gave to this? Couple? I gave them very high scores. I think I gave them, as I, if I remember well, I had a 9.5 in the technical skills and a 9.75 in the partnering skills. Yes. And uh, for me, watching it again, well deserved. Yeah. I don't argue about that. Not at all. Thank you for this explanation, Holger. One of the couples we did not see yet in Roomba, Marcel. Is that a possibility? Of course. Mm -hmm. Finishing sixth in the overall result from Spain. Guillem and Rosa. I think these two must have been very uh, happy for making the final because, as I remember, it's uh, the first couple in history from Spain making the final. So um, I think they well deserved the final. It was a hard fight for this place. The sixth place was open somehow. And uh, I think they made a, a great impression and it's a very talented young couple with a lot of possibilities and with some very unique and very individual personalities which I personally like very much. Yeah, you use the word unique, they have a kind of own artistry. They have a kind of own artistry and they are one of the couples which I have a feeling they have their own thing which sometimes I think uh, is a little bit rare and I would love to see more but they have a lot of individual skills and technically also coming to my components already on a very 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 good base you can see fundamentals 
from both of them, you can see that they're working on the right things. As a couple, you can see sometimes a little bit to the top couples, let me say, the couples in front, that they need a little bit more understanding, especially when it comes to balance. The girl sometimes is a bit arched in the body. Also, they're using a little bit extreme body shapes, which gives them sometimes a bit problems in terms of balance. What was the score for this couple? I think I had them, well now I have to put it together in my mind on the Sunday morning, but I think I had them something about 8.5, 8.75. 8.75 and yes. 8.75. Okay. This is a very, very good score, by yes. the way. Thank you. Let's change the mood. Okay. We continue with the Paso Doble and for the viewers at home, the absolute justice system uh, is always used from the rank of the 24 onwards. There's a lot of criticism about it because for the judges, judging six couples who are taking the floor at the same time, is, it's quite a hectic job. So there have been many suggestions already, even during these debriefing sessions, to start with the system from the 12 onwards mm -hmm. by making three groups of four couples. But our guest today, uh, in the 24, what were your components then? 24. I think I had the technical skills and the partner As also well. in the 24 and changed to the movement to music in the 12th and yeah. back to the technical skills. And this is one of the changes, I think a very good change, that at the 3.0 system the judge is sticking to their components one complete round. Mm -hmm. Like in the past we had to hip on, hip off. Which is a better. Pro couple, it's very difficult to stay focused yes. all the time. Yes. In the meantime, Marcel, you managed to find a couple in Pasado. Well, representing Hungary, the crowd's favorites, of <laughs> course. Of course. But they really dance their hard yes. ass. And they were the local matadors. The local say. matadors, yeah. Overall result, they finished fifth at this European Latin Championships adults. Also well-deserved result for them too, I must say, but saying this, I had a feeling that they could even challenge to the higher places. But, I have to say, but, if you think or you feel that. I uh, had the feeling that with these two, sometimes um, they are having very, very strong moments where they are able actually to challenge the higher places. But then again, the consistency of this couple is a more or less the problem, I think. Technically, on a very, very high base, you can also see here they're using good foot and leg articulations. They're using very, very good three-dimensional work in the body using also very difficult actually material everything is full of speed everything is full of dynamics so sometimes not so easy to control and to manage but i think they did a great job and uh, i remember them marking them quite high well if you can remember it the day after be I, my guest they i think they must have been between a nine and a nine point twenty five nine twenty five yeah, you're correct once again. A 9 for the technical quality and a 9.25 for the partnering skills. Thank you, Holder. What about the absolute judging system? There's only, always one question. Uh, if you could, would have the task from the WSF to, to change the judging system uh, and improved it. What areas would you improve the system? Do you have any suggestion? Uh, this is a difficult question you're asking me uh, because there is so, a lot of for and against in my opinion. Um, I think it's moving in the right direction because I think the transparency is the most important thing which we all want and we all want to see and through the system we are trying to make it more transparent as most as possible 
sometimes it is very difficult, I have to say, as a judge, to remind yourself to stay on one focus because you always see a whole product and a whole product to divide into uh, single matters is not so easy. Um, I think we are on a very good way and I think um, uh, I don't really have a suggestion to make to say it should be better in this way or that way. I think the development goes step by step forward and I think we are eliminating the, the mistakes and we are getting closer to what it is. But we all know uh, to make it fully transparent is, is a very difficult it's, task. It is difficult, but it's improving step by step. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Well, I always get a lot of reactions by mail nowadays through these debriefing sessions. And one of the reactions um, was through the debriefing sessions, the judges will never take any risk anymore because they will stick to the ranking list. Do you really believe that? No. I don't believe this because I think if you are very clear with your opinion, you can always stand up for your opinion. And um, I wouldn't have a problem to defend a mark if I would believe. So I think uh, if the opinion is right focused, there is no, no pressure. And I actually think this debriefing is a wonderful thing because I believe in any kind of sports, if you see the football, there is a press conference straight after and everybody has to give his opinion. This is what people want. This is what the, the couples want. And I think if the couples would get more this idea and these opinions, they would believe more in the system because they would know the judges must give an opinion. So I wonderfully agree with this and I would prefer even more of this kind of uh, backup and feedback. Clear statement. Thank you. Okay. That's what we need. Masa. Another couple, please, for Passo Dole. The silver medal winners yesterday night here in Debrecen, Hungary. I must compliment the organizers for really creating a wonderful ballroom with a great audience, making a wonderful atmosphere for the couples to dance in. Passo Dole. Germany. Germany. These are the actual reigning German champions. And in my opinion, and of course um, I should give my opinion, my winners from last night. I know it's an, it's an absolute system, but still in, I remember my marks and this couple for me was the most complete couple. They have nice characterization of the dance. They have great base of skills in their movements, a very, very lifeful and uh, very spontaneous lady dancer, matched by a very dynamical boy, which is, who is a, really able to control this fantastic, talented lady dancer. So um, I gave them quite high skills, uh, high marks in the technical skills, and I also think is one of the couples who take a lot of responsibility and a lot of focus on partnering skills, which in my opinion nowadays is missing a little bit. What were your score for this couple? As I remember well, I think I gave them in both marks a 9.75. You did. My brain is still working even on Sunday mornings. I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> impressed. Well, we have to come to an end of this debriefing session, mm -hmm. Holger. Uh, time flies when it's uh, really interesting your, to listen to your comments. And I will ask Marcel for the last couple to put on the screen. And once again, viewers, we only have takes from the two solo dancers of the final last night, Rumba and Passo. And finally, we will finish with La Douce France, representing France, finishing fourth overall at this European Championship. Passo d'Ogre. Another well-deserved uh, finalist, being in the final for quite a longer time. And um, I'm a fan of this couple. I like this couple. 
I think it's uh, an excellent, probably one of the most talented male dancers on the floor with a beautiful and very well matching lady. Also I can see on these couples that they're taking a lot of care about technical skills combined with characteristic movements very precise in the way of doing because actually they are one of the couples with the most complex and complicated choreographies. If you see the high speed oh, they're using oh. fantastic balance of the of all the spin turns, a lot of changes, especially when it comes to partnering skills, a lot of changing of holds, of positions, of uh, leading actions. Wonderful to see these two. You might have 9.25 for the technical quality and yes. a 9.5 in the partner skills. Remembering so. high challenging for actually the first three couples. So I, in my opinion, they were quite close together, the first four couples in this competition. And sometimes it's a split of a second which makes the decision of a judge but as you can see here, in the slow motion, they are using quite difficult material and they manage very well. Thank you so much, Helge, for sharing your comments with us. Um, I really have the impression that one of the things for this debriefing session could be to restore the respect for the judges as well, because I think it's most important that people around the world and even the dancers themselves know that when people are assigned as an adjudicator mm -hmm. to these prestigious championships, these are very knowledgeable and you proved that you're a great guy. Thank you very much. I Always nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Hope to you. Thank you. And thank you once again.